and it was a tough feel out there, even though I was a favourite. But I'm disappointed and I'm happy as well because I'm, I'm healthy, I'm injury free. So every day I stand my shoes there, pick myself up and just move forward. Lynn, what went wrong in this series? Honestly, I don't know what happened. I've just go back and watch that replay. I stumbled and I tried to get it back. Did not get in the format I wanted to do. I did not try to panic. Just going to the whole my farm and go through. Yeah, this is your second or third loss in about 22 years. <laughs> Apart from this performance of missing out on the middle, what are your other emotions? Well, uh, the mission hasn't finished as yet. I have a lot of races after this championship. Even though this mission wasn't accomplished, but still I have to give God thanks. It was a long season buckling this Hackley's injury and it was a part of this game tonight. I came out here brave, strong and ready to go but it didn't happen so I have to just continue, just work hard. This, this defeat is going to push me even harder and work, help me to work harder so I have to just continue to finish my mission. Are you going to be a part of the four by one in Yes, of course. You, you mentioned Hackley's injury. Was that a problem? No man, it wasn't a part of it. I just came out here. It didn't go as, as, as how I planned but yeah, they, I can repeat that race. It's at end now. Hey, so Volta, Bolt yesterday, you today. Jamaica can't win them all, can they? I mean, it's law of average to say this. Yeah, they have to win, they have to lose. I mean, this defeat will help me to even work harder and just push through. So, you, Elaine, you're saying that you're injured. See, back home, three people are commenting that you had a hamstring <laughs> in the race. You felt your hamstring or something happened. I'm walking fine. My hamstring is great. I'm good. Disappointment have to come, but I have to just continue to let this disappointment uplift you and work harder. There have been a little bit of complacency given your dominance in the last two years or so. I mean, this, this this championship didn't go as I planned. I mean, this championship have to help me to push forward. I have accomplished a lot last year and the year before, so this championship this did not go as I planned, but for 2018 left, 2019, 2020, I have just continue to use this defeat to push me and help me to work harder. Regret not entering the 200? No, I'm not, I don't regret running the 200. I mean, I came out here just to do the 100 meters, so I have to satisfy what, what, I, what, I, what I got. So it's stumbling out of blood. Did it, that affect your momentum? or Because we know in the last, also, that in the last 60 meters, you, Elaine usually come with a good overdrive. What happened? I don't know what happened. I feel just go back and watch a replay as I said. I mean, I can't complain. I can't re rerun that race. It is what it is. It is end. I have to give those girls a lot of credit. They have worked hard. That's why I work hard. They did the goal as I had planned. But I feel just congratulate them. Continue to work hard and push forward. Then, you said you don't regret not entering it. That decision not to run it. Was it yours again? You know, it doesn't matter who has decided how to run, that, um, run either the 100 or the 200. I doubled last year for the very first time and I wasn't nobody at 2015, nobody expected me to get a medal, 2015 was my outburst and I ran only 200. Last year I came to double and I get both one and two. This year the decision was to just only do one and the relay but I mean it's not every competition, every championship you're going there to double. This championship I just only get to do the 100 meter but I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed in either one of the 200 are getting a medal tonight. I mean there's a lot of ahead of me, I have a long future, I have a bright future coming up. I'm just 25 so I mean looking forward for other things to come up. Did you Usain's bronze medal in at, at all affect you or the team? Um, not normally when he gets a goal the team, the team is motivated to it goes a moment on continents. Did that affect you at all? No, it did not affect me. I mean, why would it affect me? I mean, I have to just do what I do best, continue to come out here and do my job. The job wasn't done as well I wanted to tonight, but I really have to just continue to push forward and give God thanks. No, no, I did not. I, I actually threw up before I go out there, so I don't, I don't, I want to say that affect the race. Yeah, man. Is that has ever happened to you before a major championship? Yes. <laughs> so, always so. You know, always throw up before the event. Is that, <laughs> is, is that your is that your <laughs> I mean I've been working hard, I've been go through the rounds and rounds and I mean I wouldn't say the stomach affected me, I just did not have a good race. Wait, interesting, interesting. How, how close to the race you had yesterday? Well, I know about a few minutes to go into the car room. And you think that didn't affect you? No, I did not. Yes, we're not, that, we're all human beings. Is that part of your nerves? Or we do that in training, so we're not doing it in, in, in competition. That's part of the game.